Okay, here comes the fourth characteristics that is distributing responsibilities. Distributing responsibilities. Each worker in the business is entrusted with one particular responsibility. One particular responsibility based on their capability and skill. Okay, I told you earlier that an organizer must be skillful or knowledgeable or efficient enough to distribute the responsibilities. Otherwise, the assigned work will be in hand of wrong people and the total goal of the organization will fall if the work or uh, task is given in hand of the wrong people. Without knowing the capability and the skill of the employee, no task should be given or no responsibility should be entrusted with, uh, for that uh, specific worker. Okay. Each worker in the business is entrusted with one particular responsibility and that particular duty of each of the worker in each division and subdivision is set in according to his or her experience. According to his or her experience, each responsibility is given for depending on his educational background depending on his experience, depending on his capacity, depending on his skill, each task is given in which he or she is expert or skilled. Okay, so depending on this educational qualification, experience, capability, skills, each worker is entrusted with one particular responsibility. Number five is distributing authority and duties. After understanding the responsibilities, here comes the term to distribute take authority and duties. To assign duty, to assign duty means to give her the proper executive power of fulfilling a responsibility. To give her or him a proper executive power to power to execute power to complete the job to solve the problem power to do the task then his or her responsibility will be 100% fulfilled if i if one manager assign his assistant managers for a specific task his assistant manager will assign that task under to his worker okay and if he does not give them the power or the authority to do the job then it will not help in proper fulfilling of their responsibility okay so assign a duty means give the proper executive power of fulfilling a responsibility it's your duty, you have to fulfill it with your 100% effort and skill. And each worker is to be given the right to work freely, right to work freely, uninterruptedly and properly. That means if the assistant manager is always poking or ticking on the head of the employee that this is not okay, you are not doing the right thing or you are doing it unnecessarily or you are doing it excess then the employees will lose their interest on that job if someone is always speaking about uh, the work then they will lose interest or they will be irritated so each person has the right or he, each person has to have the power to do their job Okay, there is a uh, mimic in uh, uh, internet that don't tell me how to do my work. Don't tell me how to do my work. It's not that that you will not learn how to do your work. Yes, I have already learned that and I am capable enough to complete the job. But you don't tell me time to time or in every task how to do this job. That means that don't 
sit over my head and tell me this is not right, this is excess, this is the limit or you are not doing the job in perfect way. Okay, so these are very disturbing and it actually diminishes the production, diminishes the uh, responsibility assigned to the worker because you are always telling me then you will do the job. Okay, I will do it uh, the way I want. You are here to correct it. So it hampers the psychology of the employee. So every employee should give a special duty that is their responsibility. They have the power to execute the responsibility. They have the power to fulfill the responsibility. Okay, and they have right to work freely. After learning or after the training, they have right to work freely, uninterruptedly, that no one will interrupt time to time. It will diminish the productivity or decline the productivity. Okay, and properly, after a proper training, after proper motivation, each employee will do their job perfectly. Okay. So that should be the belief, that should be the system of distributing authority and duties in organization.